Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney. Full fight review. He fooled us. He fooled us all, fam. We all saw the erratic behavior on Instagram, on social media, crying, drinking beer. But it was all a ploy. He played possum. And tonight, Ryan Garcia pulled off the biggest upset in boxing history. He did have an asterisk behind that win. He had an unfair advantage. He came in three pounds overweight, but we're not here to make any excuses. Devin Haney still took that fight. He took that fight. He said he was going to knock out Ryan Garcia, and he almost got knocked out. I hated to see, hated to see De Devin Haney get brutally beaten the way he did, get annihilated the way he did. And I thought Bill Haney did a horrible job. I thought he should have stopped the fight. He allowed Devin Haney to take an innumerable amount of punishment, extra punishment that he shouldn't have. That he shouldn't have been taken in that ring. Ryan Garcia hand speed. The hand speed was the huge factor in the fight. That was evident. That was evident. Devin Haney never saw the punches. He never saw any of the left hooks coming. He was knocked down an innumerable amount of times. I lost count. I lost count how many times Devin Haney was knocked down in this fight. Had to be over five times. Had to be over five knockdowns. And had Ryan Garcia had any stamina whatsoever he would have probably won this fight and stopped it in the first round but Devin Haney you got my hat goes off to him as well to get knocked down over five times with no legs I don't even know if he trained for this fight his legs were shot fam he couldn't even stand up several times in this fight he couldn't stand up and Ryan Garcia could have finished him in the seventh round had he had had his stamina together but my hat goes off to Devin Haney the punishment that he took tonight as a warrior, he didn't quit. He kept coming forward. He did have some good rounds where he showed um, phenomenal timing and, and, and uh, accuracy. But the hand speed, the hand speed played the major, major difference in this fight. He, he never saw the punches coming. He couldn't block anything. He couldn't stop anything. The hand speed, it, the hand speed was just too much for him. And if Ryan Garcia would have been throwing with him earlier and pressing the action, he probably would have stopped Devin Haney a lot sooner in that fight. But my hat goes off to Ryan Garcia. Nobody thought he could win. Nobody gave him a shot to win. Derrick James came back from the Errol Spence loss. Good good win for him. And, um, yeah, Ryan Garcia, huge upset tonight. You guys let me know what y'all thought of the fight. Drop me a comment. Hit that like button. And subscribe. I'm out.